we're going to talk today about diagnosing some hats. So in other words, when like the typical, you know, guy comes in to have a hat steamed, it's like, you know, walks in with a hat with some problems. What's the typical problems? What I did is I got a few of my hats that I like to kind of mess up. I have a few that I sort of, I don't know, I like them a little bit messed up. It's not a big deal because, you know, like working at the hat store, I'm always like, 10 minutes away from making it perfect. I could just steam it, you know. But that's kind of like what I'm gonna be showing you here now. Um, you know, what's wrong with the hats, how I'm gonna fix it, stuff like that. Okay, let's talk about it, all right? Yeah, I can see my hat in the monitor now better. All right, first of all, I'll get my glasses on here so I can see this stuff in detail. All right, first thing you see is the wrinkles on the band is very obvious. Um, from stacking hats, the hat on top just squishes this band down, and it's, you know, they're all the same size. Obviously, it's going to just do damage to it. You don't want to stack hats. That's the result. Um, I do have three, three short brim hats like this that I kind of treat that on purpose. Um, but I, I don't like the wrinkles. That's something I shouldn't have done, but I do that just out of laziness. I stack them. And I fix it, and I go and I fix it. All right, so here's the deal with them. Um, the first thing is I like to usually fix the bands first. It's like something I just do because I know it's easy. And the way to fix a lot of the times, is you, you can fix this with the brush. Okay, you take the brim brush, like a good horsehair brim brush. You steam here nice and hard, and you kind of brush up hard. And I'm kind of holding it you know, kind of flattening it out. You're almost like ironing it as you heat it up with the steam, you know? And you hold it, you know? So you, you brush upwards and you, you get those creases out, okay? Now, it's only some of it's gonna come out. Most of it's not gonna come out. You're, you're only gonna get a little bit of it out. What's really gonna get that out is gonna be the water. So, you know, I've talked about this. First thing you do is you get a paper towel, you soak it with water, you know, don't let it like it's just dripping all over, but, but it should be pretty saturated. Because what you can do is you're gonna dab it on here, dab the band until it starts getting dark brown from the water, you know. It changes color, it gets dark when it's saturated. Make the whole band wet, the whole thing. The bow is not necessary, you don't have to do the bow. If there's no wrinkles on the bow, leave it alone. But you do have to do the entire band, even if it's just one little section that's wrinkled. Do it all. You want it to all to shrink as much as possible, okay? That's what you want. So get that to shrink up, wet it. You have a second paper towel to get the drips. You're gonna get some little drips of water that's gonna go on here and maybe some up here. They kind of bead. There's like little bubbles of water. It beads the water, so it's really easy to catch. You just you just touch it with the uh, paper towel and it just soaks it up. Um, if you get a little dark spot from water here, just take the paper towel, just dab it dab it and it drinks up the water it makes that water spot disappear you can actually just get it to go away yeah but it'll dry up anyway it's just water so that's what I do I take a dry one to just get the, the drips wet one I saturate it we get rid of these wrinkles I like to put it in the Sun but you don't always have that luxury you don't put it in the heat but just you know put it someplace on a sunny windowsill or something like that you know let it dry in the Sun if you can um, and uh, this here will tighten up somewhat and uh, most of the wrinkles will be gone. If it's a mega wrinkle or it's just slack in the bands, like you've got like a lot of slack, you know what I mean, like, like this. You know, it's just too much slack there. It could be for many different reasons. That can happen just sometimes because the, the brim gets uh, pinched, you know. It's just away from the bands. You know what I mean, it's just not round anymore like it used to be round. Um, but, yeah, what you can do, obviously, is you could round the hat out, too. But, uh, yeah, let's talk about this. The big, big, big wrinkles are not going to come out with the water, either. It's kind of like the band is just too loose. Um, what you can do is you could open up a couple of stitches on the bow, okay? The bow is one piece that's covering up the band. It's just kind of like almost like a ribbon with two ends like that, okay? So in other words, one piece of ribbon that meets at the end there, 
and then that middle piece is covered up by a bow. Okay. So the bow just covers it. Now, um, you can open up a couple of stitches and the rest of the bow is staying on with these stitches, these stitches and stuff. Take it out and what you do is you pull that band nice and tight. You know, get it real nice and tight. Get that slack, get that slack. Okay. Remember, these, this bow is up now. So you get that, that in here, tape it down. Just tape it tight. This is just kind of like a hack, you know? Tape it real tight so it's just like real pulled tight. And then put the bow back over it and sew it again. So in other words, you're just pulling it tight. Which I, what I like to do is I tape it tight, then I put a stitch in to, you know, the tape is just temporarily hold it, and then I can stitch it and stuff. But um, tape alone will do it. And then you just stitch it with the bow, you know. So in other words, right here and here, you're gonna put this bow back on, so you get a tack stitch it there. That'll be enough to tighten that. That's like the easy sort of cutting corners way to fix the uh, the wrinkled bow and stuff. But see if you could do it with the water alone. That might might do it, you know, if it's just uh, regular old wrinkles and not like huge huge gaps. Uh, sometimes it's easier to open up the hat more to round out the hat. If you have something that's cylindrical, kind of like a pot, you steam the side, right? If, you know, you have a side like this that you want to round out, okay? You steam this side, get it nice and steamed and hot and stuff, and then you put it against some sort of cylindrical kind of, I don't know, let me see, something like, uh, like this, okay? You want to pull it against it, you see? While it's steamed. But it should be something bigger than this. It should be something kind of, you know, like one of those steel hat stretchers I have on the steaming table at JJ's. That's what I do. So you round out the hat in all the areas. You're pulling on the other side, you know? And what happens is you get it rounder. It's rounded. All right. Then let's open up the crown. The next thing I would want to do is I would open this crown. Um, steam and all the best thing is like again if you have some sort of cylindrical you know round top object you could just put it over there and use that as a mold like like one of those steel hat stretchers at JJ's there's all the ways to, to kind of uh, cheat you know to fake it you could use one of those styrofoam uh, wig head things those mold and put that in there and you just you know go like that and you're rounding it out over like a head shape you know steam it pull it over that round shape. What you're doing is you're getting rid of all these crease marks and stuff. You're making it circular, okay? Get it nice and circular so you've got a blank canvas there. Then what I probably want to do is, um, we save the brim for last, okay? Because you can't do the brim and then that because then the seam will bounce off the crown and knock the brim out again. So you always do the brim last, okay? So now, um, you might want to stiffen the crown if it's overly soft, so you can get a little uh, response from your steaming. After after a little bit, of, well, actually, before I stiffen it, I would pat it down with packing tape first. Get all the dust off, spray it with uh, some Super Hold hairspray, let it dry, completely dry. A couple hours or an hour, half hour in the fan might do it, 30, 40 minutes in the fan has to be super, super dry completely. And then after that, you know, we try to get all these little wrinkles out, make it as blank as you can. You want a blank canvas so that you can start a new crown shape. What I like to do is start with the center crease. We'll steam it here, this area here. Kind of like just the way a center crease looks. Imagine a center crease and steam it in that shape. Put all that steam right there, okay? So in other words, we're gonna go you know, nice and straight. And then what I do is I put my finger in the middle and I work my way out. Okay, that's how I do my uh, my center creases, like this here. Okay, then you go inside and you fix it. Even it out with your fingers inside, get it nice. Get it nuts, just soft touch. Get it nice and straight looking. Okay, from there, you get to do your pinches now. I like to put a couple of fingers inside in the middle, right inside there in the middle. And what do you do is you grab it, but you don't grab it at the top. You grab it right below the top. So almost imagine that this is like this little 
little finger, like there's like a little finger here. You see that piece? Imagine that there, and you could grab it under it. So it's not like, it's almost like a little French fry shape. See that little shape right in there? Okay, imagine that and almost like, even though it's not there yet, imagine grabbing it under that. So what I do is I start in the middle, I got my two fingers inside there, you know, like that. All right, and then I go like this, wham. That's it, let's try it again. All right, let's open it up. We did the center crease, two fingers in the middle. Okay, grab it, not at the top, but right under the top. Both sides, two fingers in the middle there. Yes, yeah, my fingers, okay, and then just back. Now I'm gonna check it from a bird's eye view. Make sure they came back to the same point. Generally they don't, you have to fix one. The other thing is you have to spread it. You have to kind of open a little bit too. Make sure that this line is straight. You didn't go a little curvy. That's a common mistake. You could fix it by just kind of moving the back left to right there. Just alter it to make it straight, bam. Okay, now let's check these two pinches. Is this one a little too far? All right, it's good. Now you say, hey, I like a tighter pinch. Okay, that's okay. You know, a tighter pinch is okay. I think that's the kind of thing you should just do after you steam it. I mean, yeah, you could steam it in now if you want. You could put one finger in there, I guess. I like to do two. Steam it like a stock hat, like a new hat. And then when the hat's on, then I pinch it. I don't know, to me it looks more natural not to steam the pinch in. I don't like that. People say, can you steam in a tighter pinch? Yeah, you know, I could steam it in. Just grab it, you know? There you go. You got your tighter pinch. Um, it looks a little bit more natural. That's what I'm getting at. Steaming it is fun too though. If you want it, if you're a perfectionist and you want it to look just right, film noir, perfect rule, you know, big pinches, but uh, I don't know, let that stuff happen naturally, you know. You know, grab it a whole bunch of times, get it, get it grabbed and stuff, you know, when it feels like you got a good shape, you know, stop grabbing it. Keep it upside down, pick it up by the brim. You want to keep, keep grabbing, grabbing, grabbing and making a hole through there, so. All right, so now what we did is uh, we fixed the crown, we fixed the wrinkles on the band. One step I did miss is right before we shape it, okay, and you have everything open like this, it's a good idea to clean the hat and just brush the heck out of it. Um, you can do this before you um, stiffen it, okay? So what I like to do is just basically brush, brush, brush a lot. I use a nice stiff brush, something kind of wiry, and I just, I'm pretty aggressive, brush it just like, you know, a hundred times or something. Brush, 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 same thing with the brim. It's almost like polishing your shoes. If you brush somebody's hat, that's, that's what brushing is. You gotta go around a lot of times, give it a little elbow grease, and you get all the hairs going the same way. And the hat starts looking really nice that way. Um, trust me on this, uh, do it, you know, a little bit of steam is good, don't use a lot of steam, just a tiny bit of mist or something is good, and, um, yeah, you could do it, do it, do it, then shape the hat, you know, um, yeah, clean it, get a nice, even surface without, like, scratches and stuff, you know, you steam it, you brush, 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 so it's nice and new looking, and then, uh, give it a nice new shape. Okay, then the next thing is most likely the brim is going to have to be pushed up. Okay, because they settle, they flatten out. It might not need it everywhere, you know, like it might be good in some areas. Yeah, right there it's sagging like crazy. So that's got to go up. Okay. Now, what I generally do is I just steam in here and I push up from the back. Do all those things, push up from the back, keep pushing. And then when I'm ready, I do the tabletop method and I steam the brim and I get the edge straight after. Just the, not even the weight of the hat, just kind of very light. So in other words, you want it to stay flanged and curvy like this, but you want this edge to be straight all at the, old, at the same point. 
So you're taking your fingers, you're tapping them down so they're all touching the ground and you let it dry like that. You wind up with a perfect straight edge. Let it dry, bam, move it over, do another part. So in other words, flange it first, get the curve. Once you got the curve, then straighten the edge. This is the way you do it. You do it using the straight edge, using the edge of the table or something. And if you want to get results, you got to have a little stiffener in there. It's got to be you know, something in there. It can't be completely, you know, flopping down. This hat's a little too soft, but um, it's kind of the way I want it to be. But, uh, you know, when you stiffen it and you give it a tiny bit of body, it softens up again really quick. It's only stiff for a tiny bit, so, you know, it's cool, you know. It breaks in and it starts to feel more natural, but you have more control. Um, that's it. If you want to uh, pinch this really tight, you know, pinch it at the top tight. Don't pinch it all the way down here tight because you don't want to gap in the bow. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it to be like, you know, gaps there. Do you a really super tight pinch up on top. It also looks cooler. Alright. So we diagnosed that hat. We fixed it up. What else is wrong with it? Anything else? Yeah, the, the brim needs to be stiffened and uh, flanged a little bit, you know, but uh, that's not that hard. Now over here on this bow, this again, this comes from stacking your hats. Um, it's pretty easy to do. You get to just steam this whole area here, steam it, steam it, and then take your brim brush and go upwards. Hold it hard and go up with your brim brush. Hold it, hold it, hold it up. So in other words, you're pinning it down. Um, that's what I would do. I would steam that, maybe even before you do your wedding thing. See if you could fix that. Steam it down, steam it nice and wet, and then, I mean, not too wet, you know, steam it for like whatever. You got a really strong steamer, um, 10 to 20 seconds or something, you know? And then, uh, cause it, you, know, you want to steam it enough for it to get hot, but you also want it to be able to cool and dry. So you don't want to saturate it so much that it'll never dry, you know, it'll take you an hour. So then you won't get results. So you got to be able to pin it, pin it, pin it until it's drying. That's the idea. So you don't over steam. And you let go. Remember, go upwards. Up. You have more wrinkles there. Upwards. Steam it first. Push it upwards and hold. Or just keep brushing upwards as you steam. Try that. And then hold and pin it. About it, the wind cord looks good. Sometimes your bands ride up a little, just karate chop them down, they'll move down. You can do it like this to just push it. I like to karate chop them. It's an easy way to move them down. And it's easier than licking your fingers and doing it, and it's less gross too. Like that, push it down. If the seams are showing and you know and the band is riding up, knock it down. If it keeps happening, you can put a little stitch at the bottom. Just stitch it down. Just make sure what's you know going on, on the inside, you know, get your sweatband out of the way, your lining out of the way. And that is set. Remember, brush it upwards, pin it down after you steam, wet the whole thing. Let it dry, and, I don't know, let's look at another hat, okay? Let's look at a different one. Ooh, here's another really messed up one. Yeah, this one's crazy. All right, first thing, the wind cord. Remember, the wind cord one way tightens it, and the other way gives it more slack. So if you need to tighten it more, go usually back, and that will tighten it. That will allow you to have enough grip there to keep it down if you have a wind cord. Okay. Now, this is basically the same thing. You got wrinkled bands and stuff. You got a few threads you want to cut. Um, threads are no big deal. Just cut them, you know. Cut it. Trim it. 
make sure you have a good scissor, you know, otherwise you just pull more out. Um, this band, this brim needs a severe um, stiffening. It's very, very soft. Now, uh, exactly what I would do is I would pat it down with packing tape first, the edges too, then I would stiffen it, ultra hold hairspray, let it dry, maybe repeat it, do it a second time, depending on you know how stiff it got. Um, cover up the sweatband first when I do it, do only the underside, and um, it should work out. You, you know, you have to give it some um, some flange. So in other words, it's got to get curved up first. Now, a lot of times when a hat is this floppy, just the actual stiffening will help it flange out a little. It's, it'll start getting some shape automatically. Yeah, just a tiny bit, you know, it'll start suggesting its own flange like this and stuff. Um, so that's good. It, it helps you along, you know, if you got this flange, then you're like, okay, good. Now I know I have to just push it down more, you know, get, get it more curvy. Push it down all the way around. You're steaming inside, push it from the back, okay? After you stiffen, you're pushing it down. It's not going to be floppy like this, okay? And then... You do that against the tabletop thing. You get it tabletop, and you straighten each piece. Against the table, steam it, okay? Straighten them out. Crown, we went over that, how to do it. You wanna open it, first dust it off. Um, I would say clean it first. You know, uh, if you have any stains, get some sandpaper light sandpaper, buff them out. After that, brush. Get a nice stiff brush and brush it counterclockwise just so many times. Get, put your palm inside there so you can kind of slap against it and you can really get some good momentum when you're brushing. You don't want to just like brush against like, you know, nothing. It's good to have something in there, you know. Brush, just keep it brushing. You want to brush like a lot, a lot, a lot of times that helps. It makes your hats look good, especially if they're like uh, long hair textured, you know, uh, a beaver finish, a silk finish, velour finish, anything like that. Brush, give it 50 times, 100 times, whatever you can do. It's just kind of like you're, you're shining your shoes. You gotta really do it and do it until you get a nice high gloss. It's the same thing. Um, when everything looks nice and even and smooth, there's no little lines or scratches anymore, then you're good. Um, it's a combination of brushing it and steaming it. The steaming also makes the color even a little bit, but very light steaming. Hard steaming is for when you want to reshape something. You, you steam it very intensely and hard, and then it softens, you make a shape, and it hardens. But when you're doing cleaning and things like that, you know, brushing and steaming, it's like a very little mist. Just enough for the surface of the hat to get a little, like, the hairs kind of stand up at attention when they get wet. If you look at it, like, you know, through a microscope. And then, once you got that nice little steam going, bam. Give it a lot of repetitions. Brush it, brush it with your horsehair brim brush. After that, if you want, you could give it a little stiffening only if it needs it. Try to avoid that if the hat is stiff enough. Um, put your center crease in, steam that area, kazam, check it, fingers, grab those little french fries, sausage things on the side, one of these, get under it, get under that little thing, bring it back, you're going to have to do a little spready spready there to make it look normal, and then go in here and fix this up by there we go. Kind of doing this inside it, you know. Like. Okay, brim you do it last. We went, went over this. Pack and tape it, clean it, cover the sweatband up. Spray, let it dry. Get your flange, tabletop, straighten it out. Gazan. Okay, there's another hat. Um, you know, you want to check the inside to make sure everything is cool for the customer. If you've got like a sticker that's peeling off, you know, it could be uncomfortable and to make sure that's okay. You might want to like 
you know, glue that back with a tiny dab of hot glue or something, get that right. Um, you know, you could ask the person, hey, you want a lining? You know, do you need a lining for this? I personally don't want a lining, but you know, those are all the things I find out. The person is cool, you give them everything. You know, you make sure that the hat is good in all respects. Um, you know, the wind cord, the, the bands, the inside, the leather, the sizing, the fit, the shape. Looks good, looks good. Everything is very healthy on these hats, so I like to give them a good steam in one day. It'll happen. But anyway, um, yeah. We'll diagnose more hats for you guys soon.